Well, this won't come to a surprise to anyone who has spent time with middle schoolers. Male brain development is about two years behind girls at this stage. But there are things you can do to help the boys ride it out till around age 15 when they catch up. Here with the story is WSJ Work Family columnist Sue Schellenbarger. Hi, Sue. Great to see you. Thanks, Tanya. So there's new research on what's happening to male brains as they enter puberty that's very useful and helps us figure out where they may need a little extra support, right, at least for a while? What we have is really large studies using some very efficient new tests of cognitive skills and also better instruments than researchers have had in the past to figure out the nuances of some of these differences. So it's valuable in information for anyone who cares about middle schoolers. Fascinating stuff. And as a mother to two boys, I'm particularly fascinated. All right, let's identify the places where they could lag during the years of 12 to 14, starting with language skills, right, Sue? Right. One very large study at the uh, University of Pennsylvania Perlman School of Medicine, researchers there led the study of 3,500 kids, young people, and found that boys really have a harder time simply remembering words than girls. Um, they also are slower at executive decision making, and this makes it hard for them to think up quick answers to questions, something that really shows up in conversation and the classroom. And so how can parents help them with this in particular? I think don't rush them. You know, I think we've had the experience of asking a question, and it seems like your boy is, is a deer in the headlights. Give them time to answer. Um, encourage him to realize that everybody develops at a different pace so he doesn't develop self-esteem problems and help him find and focus on his strengths. Maybe he's a great builder of robots or skateboarder or player of music. That can really lift a boy's spirits. All right, that sounds like great advice. Now, Sue, what about paying attention? Is it harder for boys to approach a multi-step task at this age? The Philadelphia researchers found that girls are much more accurate in paying attention when a task is put in front of them and they're asked to pay to look at it and do it. And uh, it, that is a big difference between boys and girls. So what advice do you have with uh, boys who are struggling with this at this stage? I mean, how, can, as a parent, can you keep on top of it? You know, technology can be helpful. Boys tend to like technology tools. And some of the advice I got was to use the digital calendars or planners to have, have them take notes on what they're supposed to do on Evernote or uh, or OneNote. And also you can um, uh, use calendars. Sometimes boys like it better if mom enters that dentist appointment in a digital calendar and, and he can look at it and remember it that way. It seems less intrusive, I think, to right. boys to have these digital tools. But should you stay on top of their routines? I know that at that, this age, boys really want you to stay away. Don't get into my backpack. Don't get into my stuff. But should you stay on top of it and ask them questions, perhaps in a non-judgmental way? Right. Try to keep good enough relationships with your young boy that you can, he doesn't mind you're staying along beside him, following along. Don't judge him, but ask questions like, how can I help with the homework if you see him procrastinating? And so when it comes to empathy, why is it that so many sweet little boys suddenly seem heedless of another child's emotional pain at this age? Do they Tough develop an empathy gap as well? Yeah, it's tough for a parent to see this sometimes. Boys have a harder time, the Philadelphia researchers found, and seeing what someone is feeling just by looking at their face. And, and uh, researchers at Yale University also led some research finding that they have a harder time taking others' perspective or understanding what you're thinking and feeling based on the social context. So they're slow to reading these and learning these cues. What can we do at home to help them with this? This is something that really does start at home. The more parents talk about their own and others' feelings and what they're thinking and encourage boys to do the same when reading or watching a film, ask, what do you think he's feeling now? This can really help a boy get practice in this important area. Right, and so Sue, it's sort of fascinating, but these boy differences hold up across cultures, is that correct? One study in 22 countries, very large study with 49 researchers found that um, the, some of these personality traits linked to these cognitive skills do show up consistently across cultures. So it's not just a matter of acculturation necessarily. And it's important to be kind and remember this can be a sensitive and difficult time for our boys, right, Sue? Thank you so much for all that. Thank you, Tanya.